Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how to run your Selenium scripts in Jenkins pipeline. So there are various steps which we need to follow to set up your Jenkins pipelines for Selenium automation testing. So here are the different type of steps. Like you know, first of all, we need to download and install the JDK eleven or Ebo version, and we have to set up the environment variables, and then we have to set up the uh, Maven, and uh, we have to install the Jenkins from the uh, official Jenkins website. And then after we have to install the Eclipse IDE for you know uh, writing the test element automation scripts using Java language. And then we have to create a Maven project in the Eclipse. Then uh, we have to add some required Selenium jar files into the pom.xml file in the Maven project. And then uh, we have to create the full structure uh, with the different type of you know, classes for Selenium code uh, for any sample scripts you can take it. And run the Selenium scripts locally and you know, check whether it is working properly or not. If once it is working fine, then you can uh, go to your Jenkins, then uh, create a new job, uh, which is a freestyle project. And then we need to add some kind of you know, configurations in the uh, Jenkins uh, that is for you know JDK and you know Maven. And once it is done, then we have to create a, a, a job uh, with the required fields that I'll show you um, graphically and check whether the build is working fine or not. And uh, then publish the report in the Jenkins pipeline as an evidence. Let's see one by one. Yeah, first of all, if you want to download the JDK, right? So you have to go to the JDK official website, JDK level download. And if you're using the Windows machine, you can go to the Windows 64 installer, then download the setup and you have to install it in your local machine. So once you install it, right? So you have to go to your C drive. You have to go to your C drive, program files, and you'll be able to see the Java folder here. And you can able to see that JDK 11 version over here, right? So once it is done, then you have to download the Maven build tool. Come down here. You'll be able to see one zip file, Apache Maven 3.9.4 bin.zip file. You have to download this. And once you download it to local machine, then you have to uh, copy that file into your uh, local folder in C drive. So here I'm copying it and you have to extract that file. Once you have extracted it, you will be able to see this folder. Open this folder. Now copy this path and go to your system, uh, go to this, this PC, copy this path, go to this PC, properties. And you'll be able to see one advanced system settings. So there we are adding the system environment variables. Now here, I, I have already added the uh, environment variables for the Java and uh, Maven. So here is a Java for you know, uh, Java JDK 11. And uh, for Maven, I have added this one. Copy paste here, that path. And once this is done, then you have to go to the path variables, edit, and uh, Java, uh, percentage Java underscore home, percentage slash bin, and uh, percentage Maven underscore home, percentage bin slash button. Okay, button. Uh, once this environment variable is completed, then open the command prompt and check, make sure your Java and, and uh, Maven environment variables. I'm typing Java double hyphen version. Yes, I, I'm able to see this in Java 11 version here. The same way Maven, for Maven MVN hyphen V. So I'm able to see the Apache Maven also. Then your setup is complete in the local mission then uh, you have to go to the third one. Okay, download and install the Jenkins from official Jenkins website. So, and since I'm using the Windows machine, just click on Windows. And now, uh, once you click on the Windows, okay, you just uh, it is going to be downloaded in the uh, local machine. And this Jenkins dot MSA. So once this setup is downloaded, then click on this setup and you have to install next, next, next. Okay. And it will be asking a couple of things. Okay, install uh, required plugins or you know, selected plugin. Install selected plugins. Install selected plugins or required plugins. So once the setup is completed, and you'll be able to see this local host. This now you'll be able to see this particular page. There you have to enter the your username and password. Sign. Okay, so I have already installed in the Jenkins information. I have already created this couple of projects. Okay, so when this is done, then we should be ready with your automation code Selenium. Then go back to your Eclipse. Uh, for Eclipse, you have to download the Eclipse, okay, from Eclipse official website. 
and then you have to create a Maven project, right? So go to File, New, a Maven project. Okay. So once you create the Maven project, it will be look like this. So it won't come up with this testing.xml. Okay. Only you'll be able to see this uh, SRC main Java, SRC main resources, test Java, test resources. And um, uh, you can able to see these uh, from like similar now. And uh, I have already created a project and I have already added a couple of uh, class files. Yeah. So this is the new package I have created, form.gua.test. And there I have created two different um, uh, classes, base class, as well as a register test. So base class is, you know, your uh, required setup, how to launch the browser with its own to URL connector. But before that, I have to go to the form.xml. And in the form.xml, I have required a kind of a dependencies and plugins. Compiler, sure fire, and uh, I'm I'm firing this test in dot XML, and um, then I have the Selenium jar file, test engine jar file. A web driver manages for you know to invoke your browser instances, and remaining you know some other you know required uh, uh, jar files. Uh, we have the extend reports for the reporting uh, generation. Let's close this. I'm going to share this code with you in the description section. You can find in the video. Uh, let's go back to the base class first. So here, um, I'm creating a web browser instance that you already know. Uh, these are the test engine annotations uh, before suit. And the before suit is going to um, create a, a web driver instance using the Chrome driver, uh, web driver dot, web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. And uh, we are creating the instance for the Chrome. It is opening the browser. And then um, this is for you know, invoking the, uh, so navigating to the, navigating to side URL, navigate to, application URL, app URL, and then maximize in the browser. Okay. And I have created another uh, method that's called random method. Uh, this is just a random number uh, for my email purpose. If you go back to the recession test, right? Yeah. Here is, I have a other test. Okay. I'm, I have just created one recession scenario, uh, public wide register. And the, here I'm using the third dot slip has a hard code. Uh, uh, it's a hard weight, I would say, hard weight. And then refer. Uh, then um, I'm trying to uh, click on the registration link and uh, selecting the mail radio button, entering the first name, last name, email address, password, confirm password, and digital button. So I took this website as a, a sample website. If you go and see that the demo workshop, uh, it is for it is for testing purpose. So here I'm just clicking on the registration link and selecting all the fields and entering the data and clicking on the register button. And finally, clicking on the logout button over here once it is registered. Right. So let me run this uh, uh, from the test standard XML. I have a test standard XML. You see that com dot ui dot register test. And then and uh, this form XML has the test standard XML file. Now I'm going to run this test. Clean and install it. Yeah, it is working fine and there are no failures. Build is successfully completed. Okay. Now let's go back and we have to set up a new job in the Jenkins pipeline because that is our target, right? Let's go back to the Jenkins here. Uh, first of all, you need to create a new item that is a new job. Just click on the new item. And here you can name it anything. Okay. Let's example I'm giving uh, Q underscore job. Q underscore job. Um, underscore U1. I'm setting the freestyle project and click on OK button. Now we'll see the gender section here, uh, the description, if you want to write something. Okay. This is, uh, uh, this is, uh, end to end UI automation testing, UI automation testing. And yeah, here there are different type of you know, checkboxes. So uh, these are not needed right now. Um, the source code, I'm not taking, I'm not taking this source code from the any GitHub repository because it is in my local only, right? So just none. And then uh, build trigger not acquired, build environment also not required. And there are, these are the two important things, okay, in the build steps and the post build actions. In the build step, we have to give the path of your um, project location. So uh, since we are um, using the Maven project, right, okay, we have to use uh, invoke top level Maven targets. Use this, and uh, you have to select the Maven version here. Here is the goals. 
I want to clean and install it. Okay. Uh, cleaning for you know clean is for you know cleaning the project and then installing means you know we are executing the task steps. And uh, at once uh, here we have to give the palm location. Where is the palm file uh, located here? Right click or else you know right click on this format XML file properties. Go here and here is the one. Copy this path and paste here and slash form.xml. Simple. Okay. Then um yeah, as of now it is fine. Uh just apply and save and we'll see. Build now. So build is triggered and open this one. Console output. Test fit. Chrome driver is reacted, started successfully. So build is successfully completed and there are no failures. One test. Test runs one and there are no failures, right? So now let's go back and see. Um, the build is successfully completed, but now I want to see the report. So in that case, uh, we can go back again, open this job, configure. Okay, in the bottom, you will see in the post build actions. Okay, in the post build actions, we have to add a uh, publish stable report. Use this, come down, click on add button. Right. So here we have to provide the uh, path of the, um, what we can say, uh, report. Uh, if we go back to a test, uh, if we go back to a Eclipse site, right? okay, uh, in the project, right, okay, we will see, uh, refresh the project here. Uh, in the test output folder, that I can able to see that you know, email, emailable iPhone report.html open in this web browser. So I want to show this report in the um, in the Jenkins pipeline. So right click on this one, test output. Okay, the test output, right? So let's go back, test iPhone output. This is the directory. And then uh, the report index name. This is the emailable report. Name of your report. Yes. And if you want to give any other name, for example, uh, test report. Okay. This is a uh, optional one. You can give it or else known it. And then click on apply and save button. So this is the target actually. Okay. This is the target folder where the emailable iPhone report uh, dot HTML located. Okay. If you want to give the full path of this file, you can give it or right click properties and uh, you can give the full path. That's not a problem. You can give the full path like this. But since it is uh, there in the directed light, in the directed level, you see that there are no hierarchies. So completely direct level, project level is there. So you can give directly uh, the folder name. Then apply same. Will now. So build is for you. There is something wrong with that. It's showing the bill is failed. Publish HTML report got failed. Uh, it is showing that you no, know, there is no folder inside this. Okay, I understand that. Copy this. Copy this. Open the. So it's not coming right. So, uh, in this case, you can give till here. So no job here. No job is coming. Let's go back. Then we have to give the full path of the file. The full path of the file is copy this path, then fine. Now run it. So build is successfully completed, right? So let's low go back. Let's go back and see. See that there is a stream report. Okay, there is a stream report added. You see that the report is not looks good, right? Okay. Uh, look at this report.
this is looks good but you know this one um it's not looks good okay if you want to see this proper report vertically uh there is a problem with these engines okay where there we have to add a couple of things uh for that you know go to the managing keys first okay in the bottom there is a uh, the script console okay go here and you need to add some script okay i have a script here just add the script over there and run it so once you run it okay just go back again and uh, yeah go back and done once again so once it is completed let's go back to the job estimate the code so this is how you have to execute your selenium with java maven project in the jenkins pipeline okay and uh, in the next video i'm going to talk about how, how to execute your selenium c sharp project in the jenkins pipeline